Okay, we're only a couple of days away from Christmas Eve, and I want to tell a little story about the very first painting I bought, uh, which is called Christmas Eve in Scotty Creek, Alaska. And it was painted by Dorothy Thompson in 1970 in Scotty Creek, Alaska. Now, that's the short version of the story about this painting. The longer version and the more entertaining story about this painting is how Dorothy painted it and how I acquired it. So I had great fortune of growing up with a pretty large extended family. I had lots of aunts and uncles, and I spent a lot of time with different uncles. Uh, one of the favorite uncles I've got is Uncle Al. And for the age, when I was age 11, 12, 13, 14, I spent my summers with Uncle Al and, and his family in Beaver Creek, Yukon. Now, Beaver Creek, Yukon is mile 1202 of the Alaska Highway. So that's just before the Alaska Highway goes across the border right into Alaska. On the other side of the Alaska border, so you had 1202 on one side, on the other side of the Alaska, uh, the Alaskan border was Scotty Creek. And Scotty Creek was mile 1227. And at Scotty Creek were Bucko and Dorothy. Bucko and Dorothy were Uncle Al and Annie Marie's uh, friends, and we would often go on a Sunday over to visit them. Now, they had a great cabin in Scotty Creek, and it was just a log cabin, but, but it was a great log cabin. One side of the front of the log cabin was the general store. It was about eight feet by 10 feet. And by general, it was not that general. It was just kind of the basic things that a real Northern trapper kind of person would actually need. There was flour, there was sugar, there were all the things you needed to make bread. There was beans, there was dried goods like that. That's the kind of general store we're talking about. On the other side of the cabin was the post office and it was about eight by eight. So. Again, not that large, and as I recall, there might have been three, five kind of post boxes, post boxes there, um, and of course some general delivery. Uh, but that'll give you an idea. Not very many people lived in Scotty Creek, Alaska, so there wasn't a lot of traffic coming into the general store, and there wasn't a lot of traffic of people coming in to pick up their mail, even on a Christmas season. And so Dorothy actually at one point decided she needed a hobby. She wanted to take something up to occupy her time and she had lots of time. Now they were really outdoors people so they had a lot of outdoor stuff to do and, and this scene catches sort of right just outside their cabin a little bit. This is called a cache for anybody that doesn't know what that is. It stands on four tall logs and it's made of log itself. And what a cache is for is in the wintertime, you put your food and, and other belongings in that cache and it keeps it away from wolves and it keeps it away from bears. So that's a cache and this pathway right here, it's kind of snowed in in the painting, but this would go and there was a lake way back, uh, sort of think of around the corner and under the moon. Anyway, Dorothy wanted to take up painting and because they were real northerners, they and, and ran, you know, a rather frugal general store and didn't get much income from the post office, they didn't have a lot of money. But Bucko decided that they did have enough money to get a couple of things. And what were the couple of things they could afford? Well, he could afford a sheet of plywood, quarter inch, and they could afford some paints, not a whole wide array of paints, but they could decide they could purchase some paints. So off they go to Toke, Alaska, uh, about a hundred mile drive, and they buy the sheet of plywood and they buy Dorothy some paints. But they weren't able to buy any brushes. But not to worry, Dorothy had a plan. Now, Bucko, again, being a you know real outdoors kind of Alaskan guy, had a lot of hair and a lot of beard. And Bucko was prone to taking naps sort of mid-afternoon and uh, Dorothy, decided that that was an opportune time to give Bucko just the smallest of haircuts, just the smallest of beard trims. And so over time, she would let Bucko go to sleep and he, he actually, he loved his long hair, so he wasn't open to having his hair cut. But over time, Bucko would lie down, have a nap, Dorothy would go over with the scissors, she'd cut a little bit off and she'd stash that away. Bucko would have another nap, she'd go over, she'd cut a little bit more off, she'd stash that away. Well, Dorothy kept that up until she had enough hair and enough beard whiskers off of Buckle to make quite a few different brushes. So she went out, she got some willow, she dried willow sticks, she used some thread, and she made her own paint brushes out of Buckle's hair. And with the paints that she made, she sat down and she painted this picture. And this picture really is what it looks like on Christmas Eve and many, many other winter nights in the Yukon and in Alaska. The sky is blue, the air is blue, the snow actually glows blue at you. It, it's a beautiful thing. And when you look at this painting, if you're not from the north, you kind of think, 
that's a little bit over the top with blue. But in fact, if you're a northerner and you've been outside in the wintertime, you know exactly what, I, what I'm talking about. You can feel the cold when you look at that and you, can, and, and you can feel the blue when you're walking around there. So anyway, Dorothy, she collected her brushes, she painted a number of pictures and this was actually one of the first ones that she painted. And as a young guy, I ended up uh, seeing this, it was hanging in the log cabin, she hadn't sold it yet. And uh, so I worked all summer, four months, and saved all the money that I got paid for that four months working for my uncle Alan the sawmill and I bought this painting and uh, brought it home, gave it to my mom and dad, and they, it, they're they hung in, in uh, the family room at our home for years and years, and when my mom and dad passed away, well, it just seemed that it was right that the painting come back and, and live with me. And so, Christmas Eve, Scotty Creek, Alaska, 1970, beautiful memories for me, and I think the real moral of the story is that with Bucko and with Dorothy, I suspect that Bucko laid down more often than he needed to. And I suspect that Bucko actually wasn't asleep when his hair was getting cut. I actually pretty sure that Bucko knew exactly what was going on. And isn't that just a wonderful expression of love? And isn't this the time of year that we really want to express love for each other? We want to express love, gratitude, and thanksgiving for all of the wonderful things we've got in life, whether it's a small log cabin in Alaska with a small store and you're painting on a sheet of plywood with hairs trimmed off of your significant other's beard and head, or you live in a wonderful city somewhere. You know, love is something that's there for all of us. And at this time of the year, it's probably the most important gift we can share with each other and share for ourselves. So love the people you're with, Love the people that you can't be with right now. And most importantly, have some time and some love for yourself. Be the best you can be and have a very Merry Christmas.